welcome back family and friends and I have a trade box that I did with Jason Vanilla, your neighborhood spider fan. Y'all might know him on YouTube. He's fairly new but he's got a new channel and he's got a good fund me campaign so y'all go please go check that out. He's trying to get the funds up to start his own comic book store. But he sent me a box and I sent him an extra Funko Pop that I had that I didn't want and I did a few trade items with him so let's pop this box open and see what we got Jason I'm sure there's some something in here I'm gonna like bear with me folks while I try not to slip my wrist open lots of styrofoam packing peanuts okay got it open put duck knife away this one it's the Walgreens exclusive Punisher Funko Pop yes behold for the folks that the Walgreens hasn't had them in stock yet like my area they do not have these Funko Pops in stock yet and I don't know what's going on I've been in like six different Walgreens and I've given up I have turned to begging my friends for them let's pop him open and see what it looks like I actually uh, have a uh, Venom one on the way, so I look forward to getting him. Here he goes. Old Frank Castle. He's got his little guns there. Let me put this behind him. Little bobblehead. I like how they did his belt. They actually did his belt correct where teeth come down and they make... The, te the belt comes around and the bordello on the belt makes the bandello or whatever y'all call it. Makes the bullets for the teeth on his symbol on his chest. Oh well, that was Frank Castle Punisher Funko Pop. So that's pretty awesome. Here are all the other ones you can get. I know I've got these two on the way. Venom, which I really, really want. Black Suit Spider-Man. I get my hands on him and I have them all. The Spider-Man 2099 is supposed to be the hardest one to find. But they seem to all be impossible to find. There are people fussing and complaining all over the place. Let's see what else. Is there anything else in here? Packing peanuts. Yeah, something in here. Oh, wow, no way. I saw him do a review talking about these uh, comics. This is Batman Earth 1. And he said it's a great read. And I was just, you know, commenting to him about it. I didn't know he was going to send it. But that is great. Look at this. The Batman... Earth one, I get it correct. Uh, Storyline. It's a dark night for a new generation, and he said it's pretty awesome. He said Alfred kicks the living bloody hell out of Batman in this comic, so I look forward to reading that. And I like Gotham. Gotham is sort of the TV show on now. Gotham was sort of showing how Alfred is slowly training young Bruce Wayne, and it's pretty cool. I look forward to reading this, Jason. Thank you very much. This is going to be an awesome read, I'm pretty sure. Let's give y'all a quick quick little peek at the artwork in here. Dude, that's a great... Just right there on the front. I like that. The uh, Batman just jumping there. Let's see what else we got here. Here's a pretty good one. Batman putting smack down on some thug. I look forward to reading this. So yes, now I got me some reading material for a while while my new comics are shipped to my house. Batman Year One. 
Earth one. Why do I keep saying year one? Because I'm getting confused with the other storyline. But the New York Times bestseller. Pretty impressive. That man is not a hero. He is just a man. Failable, vulnerable, and angry. In a city where friends and foe are indistinguishable, Bruce Wayne's path towards becoming the Dark Knight is riddled with more obstacles than ever before. Focusing on punishing his parents, true killers, the corrupted police that allow him to get go free, Bruce Wayne's thirst for vengeance is fueled for his mad crusade, and no one, not even Alfred, can stop him. So that, I'm going to enjoy reading. Thank you very much, Jason. Anything else in here? Let's see. Let's, let me dig around. I got a pack of peanuts left. I'll eat them later. Thanks very much, Jason. I enjoy my items, Jason. Thank you very much. Everybody, thanks for watching your geeky neighbor. Hop on over to Jason Vanilla's channel and check him out. He does a lot of comic book stuff, some blogs. He does unboxings and things like that. And I got his package on the way. Y'all jump over there and see what I sent him. So thank you again, Jason. Take care, everyone. Come back and visit your geeky neighbor sometime. I got some reading to do. Take it easy, everybody.